Hello, my name is Grant Rodney. I'm a consultant anaesthetist. Um, I look after children having anaesthesia for surgery and operations. And today we're going to show you what happens. Children and their parents will arrive to a ward, to a reception desk. The paperwork will be checked. Um, they'll wash their hands. So they'll be weighed, sometimes have their height checked. The nurse will make sure that their um, name band specific to them with their name and, and date of birth um, is placed on. The nurse will apply a cream, usually on the back of children's hands, and that's a local anaesthetic cream in order to numb the skin to allow a cannula to be placed while the child is comfortable in doing so. That usually takes about an hour to be effective there. Some hospitals will have access to a play specialist, uh, and these are um, members of staff who deal specifically with play and interactions with children and families in order to put them at, at ease and to um, relieve any anxiety they have. Children and parents can be very anxious um, coming into hospital and having surgery. We work with them to, um, to understand that and to try and ease those anxieties. Oh, hi Elsie. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you today? I'm okay, yeah. Uh, good. Uh, my name is Dr. Rodney. I'm an anaesthetic doctor. Just a few questions, if I could, about your health. Are you normally a healthy person? Yes. No coughs or colds? No. Been in hospital before or had any operations? No. There are two ways you can go to sleep. Um, one is to see where the cream's been on your hand to make it all numb. Is We can put what's called a little cannula there. It's a little plastic tube. And we can give you some medicine through that that makes you go to sleep, and that works very, very quickly. Your mom can be with you while that's happening. There is another way to go off to sleep, and that would be to breathe the anaesthetic. While I wake up during the operation. My job is to look after you while you're asleep, and to make sure you're fast asleep. You don't feel any, anything at all. I'm there the whole time, and the nurse is with me, and we use a lot of monitors that check your breathing and the level of sleepiness we're using for you. So, so when will I wake up again? Okay, so once the operation's all finished, we just stop giving you the anaesthetic and then you wake up. And that takes sometimes a few minutes, sometimes a wee bit longer, everyone's slightly different with that. Present in the anaesthetic room will be the child and a parent or parents or guardian, a nurse from the ward or sometimes a play specialist, an anaesthetic assistant uh, and an anaesthetist. So Amber, you just feel a little bit of pushing on the back of your hand, okay? Well done. Well done. Super. That's the wee cannula in place. So um, that's us just, just ready to go off to sleep. Sam, are you going to have nice dreams? Tell your mum not to worry. Yeah? So it's really, really quick. And you feel the medicine. Sometimes a little tingly in the back of your hand. Sometimes makes you do a wee wiggle. Okay, you have a lovely sleep. Sweet dreams. And say night night to your mum and give her a big cuddle. That's super. Okay, Mum, that's so fast asleep. Do you want to give her a wee hug? Okay, it's just got some oxygen for her to breathe and her monitors are anaesthetic. Thank you very much. Let me just show you the little mask. You've seen it, haven't you? Yep. Yeah, so that's Same just... Thing. Yeah, so, and then we've chosen to have a mango taste. Is yes, that right? Mango yeah, so will I just put a couple of drops of the mango? So, just when you're ready, what, do you want me to help you hold the mask as well? Um, no, I can hold no, it. No, you can hold it. Super. So what we're going to do, we'll put some air through there. It's just some oxygen. So I'm just gently holding that with you as well, Rory, okay? So we're just going to add a little taste. This is the anaesthetic now, and we just start that really, really gently. And what you do is just concentrate on breathing in and out. Now your challenge is to keep playing this game and see how long you can play it before you fall off to sleep. How are you doing? Okay, and just a little extra taste coming through. Yeah, oh well done. Just keep blowing. You're doing really well. 
Everything's fine. We'll all be looking after you. That's good. Big bros in and out. Well done. Okay, just starting to get a little sleepy. Okay. Rory, so you're off to sleep now. Okay, I'm just going to lie you down a little bit and I'm just going to ask the nurse Karen to pop a monitor on for us. With a mask anaesthetic going off to sleep, um, sometimes there can be quite a bit of wriggling, which is a normal part of going through the stage from being awake to asleep under an anaesthetic. So at the end of the operation, children will recover and wake up, and there are a number of ways that happens, all of which are normal. So some children will wake up very quickly, uh, and they may be calm and, and reassured, and that's absolutely fine. Some children wake up very quickly and can be a bit dizzy and disoriented and um, it's very helpful then for parents to be with them, um, to reassure them, to give them a cuddle. Well, Amber is just waking up and so I'm just holding her chin up so she doesn't snore too much while she's waking up. And I'm watching the bag go up and down and that shows that she's breathing well. You can see it rising and falling. And I'm watching her chest go up and down as well. Nauseous. Nauseous, sleepy, the effects haven't worn off yet. And this is what happened. I had a general anaesthetic, so they put a thing over my mouth and nose, a wee mask, and they told me to breathe in and out and play little games. And I started to get a wee bit drowsy as they ramped up the dose. And, and then basically I just closed my eyes and, and instead of opening them up again, I, I was just knocked out cold. And about half an hour later, according to my dad, um, I was awake again. The anaesthetic is, it's okay really. It's not necessarily the worst thing ever. 